The Falcon rocket family is an American family of multi-use rocket launch vehicles developed and operated by Space Exploration Technologies SpaceX. The vehicles in this family include the flight-tested Falcon 1, Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. The Falcon 1 made its first successful flight on 28 September 2008, after several failures on the initial attempts. The larger Evolved Expendable Launch Vehicle e -E class Falcon 9 flew successfully into orbit on its maiden launch on 4 June 2010. The Falcon 9 was designed for reuse. Over a dozen first stages have landed vertically, and several have been launched again. SpaceX's three core variant, Falcon Heavy, was successfully launched on February 6, 2018. Topic: Naming Elon Musk, CEO of SpaceX, has stated that the Falcon rockets are named after the Millennium Falcon from the Star Wars film series. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current launch vehicles. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Falcon 9 full thrust v1.2 the falcon 9 v1.2 nicknamed full thrust is an upgraded version of the falcon 9 volts 1.1 it was used the first time on the 22nd of December 2015 for the Orbcom 2 launch at Cape Canaveral SLC 40 launch pad. The first stage was upgraded with a larger liquid oxygen tank, loaded with sub-cooled propellants to allow a greater mass of fuel in the same tank volume. The second stage was also extended for greater fuel tank capacity. These upgrades brought a 33% increase to the previous rocket performance. Topic: <laughs> Falcon Heavy. Falcon Heavy FH is a super heavy lift space launch vehicle designed and manufactured by SpaceX. The Falcon Heavy is a variant of the Falcon 9 launch vehicle comprising three Falcon 9 first stages, a reinforced center core, and two additional side boosters. All three boosters are designed to be recovered and reused. The side boosters assigned to Falcon Heavy's first flight were recovered from two prior Falcon 9 missions. SpaceX successfully launched the Falcon Heavy on February 6, 2018, delivering a payload comprising Musk's personal Tesla Roadster playing life on Mars, by David Bowie, onto a trajectory reaching the orbit of Mars. Topic. Retired Topic. Falcon 1 The Falcon 1 is a small, partially reusable rocket capable of placing several hundred kilograms into low Earth orbit. It also functioned as a testbed for developing concepts and components for the larger Falcon 9. Initial Falcon 1 flights were launched from the U.S. government's Reagan test site on the island atoll of Kwajalein in the Pacific Ocean, and represented the first attempt to fly a ground launched rocket to orbit from that site. On 26 March 2006, the Falcon 1's maiden flight failed only seconds after leaving the pad due to a fuel line rupture. 
After a year, the second flight was launched on the 22nd of March 2007 and it also ended in failure, due to a spin stabilization problem that automatically caused sensors to turn off the Merlin second stage engine. The third Falcon 1 flight used a new regenerative cooling system for the first stage Merlin engine, and the engine development was responsible for the almost 17-month flight delay. The new cooling system turned out to be the major reason the mission failed, because the first stage rammed into the second stage engine bell at staging, due to excess thrust provided by residual propellant left over from the higher propellant capacity cooling system. On 28 September 2008, the Falcon 1 succeeded in reaching orbit on its fourth attempt, becoming the first privately funded, liquid-fueled rocket to do so. The Falcon 1 carried its first and only successful commercial payload into orbit on 13 July 2009, on its fifth launch. No launch attempts of the Falcon 1 have been made since 2009, and SpaceX is no longer taking launch reservations for the Falcon 1 in order to concentrate company resources on its larger Falcon 9 launch vehicle and other development projects. Topic: Falcon 1E The Falcon 1E is an upgraded version of the Falcon 1 with a larger fairing and payload mass, and is 6.1 meters 20 feet longer than the Falcon 1. By December 2010, Falcon 1E replaced the services of Falcon 1 on the SpaceX product list. The 1E version has not yet been flown and is not currently scheduled to make a flight. Continued development and use of the Falcon 1 over 1E have been stagnant while the company focuses on the Falcon 9, Dragon program. <laughs> Falcon 9 V1.0 The first version of the Falcon 9 launch vehicle, Falcon 9 V1.0, was developed in 2005-2010, and was launched for the first time in 2010. Falcon 9 V1.0 made five flights in 2010-2013, when it was retired. Falcon 9 V1.1 On 8 September 2005, SpaceX announced the development of the Falcon 9 rocket, which has nine Merlin engines in its first stage. The design is an EELV class vehicle, intended to compete with the Delta IV and the Atlas V, along with launchers of other nations as well. Both stages were designed for reuse. A similarly designed Falcon 5 rocket was also envisioned to fit between the Falcon 1 and Falcon 9, but development was dropped to concentrate on the Falcon 9. The first version of the Falcon 9, Falcon 9 V1.0, was developed in 2005 to 2010 and flew 5 orbital missions in 2010 to 2013. The second version of the launch system, Falcon 9 V1.1, has been retired meanwhile. Falcon 9 V1.1 was developed in 2010 to 2013 and made its maiden flight in September 2013. The Falcon 9 V1.1 is a 60% heavier rocket with 60% more thrust than the V1.0 version of the Falcon 9. 
it includes realigned first stage engines and 60% longer fuel tanks, making it more susceptible to bending during flight. The engines themselves have been upgraded to the more powerful Merlin 1D. These improvements will increase the payload capability from 9000 kg, 20000 pounds to 13150 kg, 28990 pounds. The stage separation system has been redesigned and reduces the number of attachment points from 12 to 3, and the vehicle has upgraded avionics and software as well. The new first stage will also be used Used as side boosters on the Falcon Heavy launch vehicle, the company purchased the McGregor, Texas, testing facilities of defunct Beale Aerospace, where it refitted the largest test stand at the facilities for Falcon 9 testing. On the 22nd of November 2008, the stand tested the nine Merlin 1C engines of the Falcon 9, which deliver 350 metric tons force, 3.4 mega newtons of thrust, well under the stand's capacity of 1,500 metric tons force, 15 mega newtons. The first Falcon 9 vehicle was integrated at Cape Canaveral on the 30th of December. 2008. NASA was planning for a flight to take place in January 2010, however the maiden flight was postponed several times and took place on 4 June 2010. At 2.50 pm EST the Falcon 9 rocket successfully reached orbit. The second flight for the Falcon 9 vehicle was the COTS Demo Flight 1, the first launch under the NASA Commercial Orbital Transportation Services COTS contract designed to provide seed money for development of new boosters. The original NASA contract called for the COTS Demo Flight 1 to occur the second quarter of 2008. This flight was delayed several times, occurring at 15:43 Greenwich Mean Time on the 8th of December 2010. The rocket successfully deployed an operational Dragon spacecraft at 15:53 Greenwich Mean Time. Dragon orbited the Earth twice, and then made a controlled re-entry burn that put it on target for a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Mexico. With Dragon's safe recovery, SpaceX became the first private company to launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft. Prior to this mission only government agencies had been able to recover orbital spacecraft. The first flight of the Falcon 9 V1.1 was September 29, 2013 from Vandenberg Air Force Base carrying several payloads including Canada's Cassiope Technology Demonstration Satellite. The Falcon 9 V1.1 features stretched first and second stages, and a new octagonal arrangement of the nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage replacing the square pattern of engines in V1.0. SpaceX notes that the Falcon 9 V1.1 is cheaper to manufacture, and longer than V1.0. It also has a larger payload capacity, 13,150 kg to low Earth orbit or 4,850 kg to geosynchronous transfer orbit. Topic. Grasshopper Grasshopper was an experimental technology demonstrator, suborbital reusable launch vehicle RLV, a vertical takeoff, vertical landing VTVL rocket. The first VTVL flight test vehicle — Grasshopper, built on a Falcon 9 V1.0 first stage tank made a total of eight test flights between September 2012 and October 2013. 
All eight flights were from the McGregor, Texas, test facility. Grasshopper began flight testing in September 2012 with a brief, three-second hop. It was followed by a second hop in November 2012, which consisted of an eight-second flight that took the testbed approximately 5.4 meters 18 feet off the ground. A third flight occurred in December 2012 of 29 seconds duration, with extended hover under rocket engine power, in which it ascended to an altitude of 40 meters 130 feet before descending under rocket power to come to a successful vertical landing. Grasshopper made its eighth and final test flight on October 7, 2013, flying to an altitude of 744 meters (2,441 feet, 0.462 miles) before making its eighth successful vertical landing. The Grasshopper test vehicle is now retired. Topic Cancelled. Topic Falcon Five. An early five-engine booster stage launch vehicle, the Falcon 5, was in design but its development was stopped in favor of the larger nine-engine Falcon 9. Like the Falcon 9, it was also slated to be human-rated and reusable. Topic. Falcon 9 Air In December 2011 Stratolaunch Systems announced that it would contract with SpaceX to develop an air-launched, multiple-stage launch vehicle, as a derivative of Falcon 9 technology, called the Falcon 9 Air, as part of the Stratolaunch project. On 27 November 2012 Stratolaunch announced that they would partner with Orbital Sciences Corporation instead of SpaceX, effectively ending development of the Falcon 9 Air. Topic. Proposed Topic BFR The Big Falcon rocket, commonly shortened to BFR, announced in September 2017, is SpaceX's proposed super heavy lift launch vehicle, spacecraft and space ground infrastructure system of spaceflight technology, including reusable launch vehicles and spacecraft. This vehicle would ultimately replace the Falcon 9 and heavy lines of SpaceX launch vehicles. BFR is proposed to be used for Earth ground-to-ground -ground flight, cis-lunar flight, and with the Interplanetary Transport System variant, interplanetary flight to Mars or other targets and would be a central component in the SpaceX Mars transportation infrastructure. Topic. Competitive position SpaceX Falcon rockets are being offered to the launch industry at highly competitive prices, allowing SpaceX to build up a large manifest of over 50 launches by late 2013, with two-thirds of them for commercial customers exclusive of U.S. government flights. In the U.S. launch industry, SpaceX prices its product offerings well below its competition. Nevertheless, Somewhat incongruously, its primary U.S. competitor, United Launch Alliance ULA, still maintain ed in early 2013 that it requires a large annual subsidy, 
which neither SpaceX nor Orbital Sciences receives, in order to remain financially viable, with the reason cited as a lack of market opportunity, a stance which seems to be in conflict with the market itself. SpaceX launched its first satellite to geostationary orbit in December 2013 and followed that a month later with its second, TICOM-6, beginning to offer competition to the European and Russian launch providers that had been the major players in the commercial communications satellite market in recent years. SpaceX prices undercut its major competitors the Ariane 5 and Proton in this market and SpaceX has at least 10 further geostationary orbit flights on its books moreover SpaceX prices for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are much lower than the projected prices for the new Ariane 5 ME upgrade and its Ariane 6 successor projected to be available in 2018 and 2021 respectively as a result of additional mission requirements for government launches SpaceX prices U.S. government missions somewhat higher than similar commercial missions, but has noted that even with those added services, Falcon 9 missions contracted to the government are still priced well below $100 million, even with approximately $9 million in special security charges for some missions, which is a very competitive price compared to ULA prices for government payloads of the same size, ULA prices to the U.S. government are nearly $400 million for current launches of Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy class payloads. Topic. Comparison A optional propellant crossfeed for increased launch mass capability post-2008. Merlin 1A was used from 2006 till 2007. Topic. See also. BFR rocket. SpaceX Dragon. SpaceX rocket engines Merlin rocket engine family Raptor rocket engine family methane fueled list of Falcon 9 and Falcon heavy launches <laughs>